mange on her stomach. But not nearly as prominent as with the cubs. Oh. Where are the rest of the lions? They might have headed off to three in a row pan for a drink and they left her to guard the remnants of this buffalo from the vultures that are all around. Let's actually go have a quick look up at the pan. It may be quite nice to catch them drinking. Of course, we do not want to disturb her ladyship, who's a... Ah, I see more lions now. Oof, nice smell ponging in from behind us. So there, speaking of male lion coalition, Stefan is one of the big boys from the north. Let me just sneak around. Big boy. There we go. Look at that. A wild African male lion in his prime. Sleeping off a belly full of buffalo. Uh, now, Deline, who's a new reviewer, a very big welcome to you, Deline. And uh, Deline would like to know have we ever been in danger? while on these drives. Well, not the current set of presenters. None of us have been on in danger while on a live safari with all of you. Okay, so there's another lioness as well. Now, where are that gang of cubs? Okay, so there's the male. So in this pride, there are three females uh, and eight cubs. And currently, I can only see two females. There's the one ladyship who's lying on the road. Dave has finally realized, suddenly seen that there's another lioness in front of us. There she is. She's going to go a bit further forward. Maybe the cubs are in the shade around here. Well, they could be with the third lioness who might have gone towards three in a row pan to have a drink. I don't see any cubs around here, do you, Dave? This is one of the mothers of the cubs. Now, Don is wondering, how will the mange clear up or get better? Um, just with good oh, time and some good meals, a good condition, maybe a bit of rain. Uh, but this type of mange, uh, mange doesn't really kill adult lions. It can sometimes kill cubs. But uh, the cubs don't, I mean, they don't look great, but they don't look like they're about to kill over. Okay. So let's go have a quick look at three in a row pan and see if that's where the cubs are. I'm keeping an eye for the birders out here. I'm keeping an eye for the white-headed vulture. There we go. There's a tree full of vultures. Oh, it was a tree full of vultures, some of them taking off the white-backed vultures. There's a few still left. Oh, and a hooded vulture. The smaller one on the right-hand side. There you go, a hooded vulture. We've got two vulture species. Oh, now there's only one vulture species left in the tree. Okay. Let's keep going towards the pan. Now, those cubs could easily be lying in the shade around here somewhere. 
Hi, Jane, who's in the south of England. Uh, Jane is wondering, what is the scariest encounter I've ever had with lions? Well, I've had a few scary ones. Um, most of them have been on foot. Um, I was tracking a lioness with cubs and I've been charged and uh, she stopped about a meter and a half, two meters from me. And while she was hissing and growling at me, I got covered in dust and her spit. That's how close she was. That was quite a hairy one. And how old was I then? I must have been about 17. It was my first serious lion charge on my own. I've been charged a few times before, but with either with my dad or with trackers. Look at that. You see the leaves up there, Dave, that are caught in the thermal. So those vultures are using a th thermal. There's actually, I can see, um, I might not be able to pick it up in the camera, but we can actually see a bunch of uh, bush willow leaves in amongst the vultures, <laughs> just shining yellow, just sitting up on the winds. And then uh, the, another scary lion encounter I had was with male lions in the, in the Kruger. And I've told that story many times, but yes. Uh, I got charged, properly charged by a male, two male lions. Uh, the general rule with lions on foot. Um, ah, there we go. There's a whole bunch of cub tracks. Uh, is that noisy lions, safe lions, quiet lions, scary lions. <laughs> or dangerous lions. So if a lion's charging you and making a lot of noise, it's just telling you you're too close, you must go away. Um, if they're coming quietly, uh, you might be on the menu. And those two male lions came very quietly. Okay, so all the cub tracks heading up here. Oh, a big a safari live welcome to Chris. Oh, sorry, Chris. Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Chris is a brand new viewer. Sorry about that, Chris. Um, and Chris is wondering how often the lions need to eat. Sorry, Chris, I'm just checking where those cubs could have gone. Buster. So, here we go. She might be off to go find the cubs. They might as might have been split by elephants. Mike, I've got a single one side to here heading south. Okay, well let's stick with her. Maybe she'll lead us to the babies. Her I've got a one one sighty heading south through the block here. So while we stick with this lioness as she moves through the bush. Uh, while we do that, let's go see what Steph's up to. She's going back to the other lioness um, where the cubs are. So that's what we're hoping. Now, being a lion and Lions can be quite lazy. What she might do is just flop down in the bush somewhere on, on the way. But we just, she was going through some very thick bush, so we shot around and she's now popping out on the road again. I mean, you can literally, when we get a bit closer, you see the size of her belly. And you can see the size of that belly. It's literally swaying from side to side. Oh, 
Well, she's not looking 100% relaxed. What I think has happened is that they've been chased by Ellie's. And that's why she could be a bit jumpy. I think she's going to lie down in the shade there. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's not always the best when you're right, because uh, that means she's not going to lead us to the cubs. So, and as I said, she's, she's looking quite hot, um, and she's not looking very relaxed. And I think she's been chased by elephants, that's why she's being a bit jumpy, so I'm not going to push her at all. I'm just going to keep moving on past her. We'll give you one last look. Just find a gap. Uh, not really. There we go. So we're going to leave her, but I'm quite sure the rest of the cubs and the, and the other lioness are around. As I said, she's not looking... Oh, look at the little emerald spotted wood dove. Uh, too relaxed, but... There we go. Yeah. So there are the lions. I can see some cubs and a fat, lazy male. But I wonder if the lionesses have started creeping up the hill. So there's buffalo there, there's elephant behind us. That's three of the big five within about 50 meters of each other. I can't see any lionesses. I'm just gonna go have a look in here quickly. If there's no lionesses, I'm gonna come back out. So we don't wanna be stuck in the, in the, in the little river here uh, when the lions are chasing buffalo up above. Now, I can only see cubs in a male. Okay, I can see a single lioness now. And another lioness. And another lioness. Hi, guys. There's a meal right there. Now, well, the buffalo are, of course, oblivious to the fact that the lions are here. Just watch this big branch here, Dave. Hello, little rascals. You are my favorite, you fluffies. So focused on the tire. Thank you very much, Gracie. Uh, Gracie, who's nine years old, so he told James when James had a cold that she would read him stories and make him orange juice, and she says she'll do the same for me. Well, thanks very much, Gracie. Okay, are there some more lions at the back? You see them, Dave, through the trees. Um, to the there, but just where they are, so we know. Now, where are these? I'm waiting to see if these buffalo pop into visual. There we go. You can see. Ooh, getting hungry. Oh. Yeah, as she moves, the male's on the move as well. All she does want to greet the other members of the pride. Oh, yes, they definitely look like they're going to hunt tonight. Oh, here we go. Let's just urinate on your pride, remember? It's okay. Let's just say at least it was a number one. I think the buffalo might have heard that sneeze, but I can hear the buffalo. Just up here. Right, these girls are definitely getting hungry. Man, 
elephant in the background. Wine station with uh, Nkomas. Now Liz is wondering, would the elephants run in and chase the lions if they heard a buffalo in distress, or would they just move away? Well Liz, it really just depends on the day. Sometimes they might, other times they might not. What are you doing, little one? Coming to investigate us. Can you hear that buffalo again? Now, all of a sudden. Now, all of a sudden. Yeah, guys, wake up. There's buffalo 50 meters away from you. Gonna be on the radio. Standing by tax. Hey Sam, there's two Dugger boys just arrived now, um, but on the northern side of the Shkova, they haven't seen them yet, but the Dugger boys are maybe 30 meters away. Um, I'm pimpana up, but the rest of them are still flat. I think right, as soon as you get in, I'll make some more space. Oh, stretching. Away the oh. Dave, she likes you. Careful, he might get jealous. Oh, he's gonna try mate. He might get a smack. What? No, not ready. <laughs> okay, she. I think she's just seen the buffalo. Just look how the focus has changed. Look at that, there's a fly crawling in her eye. She's completely ignoring it. One more fuzzy is moving towards those nyari, which are just above me here. Okay, we just got to concentrate now. She looks like she might be, have seen those buffalo. Now, we're going to watch what the other lion's reaction to her is, and hopefully the males don't ruin it. Now they can be useful when it comes to catching big things. They can also be a bit of a hindrance. Here we go. So now the other lionesses should take visual cues from her body language. And you can suddenly see there's a bit of a change. 
No, buffalo is right there above them. Fucking. Oh, we just saw the lion. Just saw the lion. I think the male gave the game away. But now, look, heads are up. There's a bit more, bit more interest now. Now this line is, should be able to pick it up. That buffalo is about to come through this gully. Um, oh no, sorry, we, we focused too close. Uh, right at the back, sort of in there. Okay, keep coming to the right slowly. It's amazing, I can see him so clearly with my eyes. There he is. And they are hungry. Okay, one lioness is going up. Wow, went straight up that bank. Oh, nearly. There we go. Up. Sorry, she's just where we can't see her nicely. Now let's see what these other lions do. Because she's gone into hunt mode. There's another buffalo, there's a couple of them. You can just hear them disappearing. Wow. Let me just move forward a bit. That is incredible. Move back a bit, maybe. Where's the male? I don't want to. Go too far. Okay. Look at that light on her. She's moving. Magic hour. Male's going up. Oh, try and get through. Just quickly. He's going to run up the bank. Not quite as elegantly as she did. <laughs> there. Sorry. There, he's up. She's up and after those buffalo now. Now, are the rest of the pride going to join her? No, a lioness and a male lion. Two of them are enough to take down a buffalo. But it is easier when there's more of you. Okay, we have to change our batteries, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to disappear for a second. Sorry about that, we are back. Still with the lions. So Tux and Aubrey are following the other two that have gone up. I'll just wait and see what with whether these lionesses join. Thank you, Dad. Might need some of Gracie's orange juice. Paul says, I don't think the moms want to leave the cubs this close to a buffalo. I don't think that's it, Paul. Uh, they definitely would. going to be on the game drive ready I'll find out what's happening up there tax tax
Christmas pack. I can only see five cubs here. I'm sure the others are sleeping around close by here somewhere. Tax, is that one Satya one in a following those Dugger boys? Okay, copy, thanks. Seems like the buffalo. Yeah, I've got visual of five only. Oh, big tree battles going on. Now, Gillian York is wondering, is it normally always the same female who initiates the hunt? Uh, no, Jilly, it, it, I think it also it just depends on possibly who's the most hungry. Got some movement from a second female. Is it time to go hunting? Are we missing two females? Not that interested in joining the others just yet. Look at this. <laughs> Heidi says, when they start hiding, I've got to be the nanny for these cubs. Well, it's a job I'll happily do. Dave, do you want to babysit some lion cubs? Sure. Here we What are you doing, mister? Keeping oneself very entertained. <coughs> oh, oh, good jump. Great climbers uh, at the young age. I haven't developed that massive body mate. And even lionesses can be relatively agile. Nothing to the degree of a leopard, of course, but and they are cats after all. Oh, got tail. Oh, 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 pulling. Oh, escaped. Oh, tail, tail, tail. Watch your tail. Oh, <laughs> Why you bite my tail? So the three youngest ones are here, and two of the older cubs. And there's the three youngest ones all piling in to get some milk.
every little stick, branch and leaf is a wonderful toy for these little guys. When we sit chat, let's see if these lines get on the move shortly uh, while we do that. Oh, look at that. One, one. Okay. Finished now? Yes. Okay. Now that you've finished, let's... Uh, no, back to the same stick. Okay, now that you've sort of finished with that stick, let's go see what Steph's been up to. And we're still here. I haven't got up. We're not going to be able to spend too much longer with the cubs, of course, because we won't put any lights on here. And it is getting dark. Oh, oh, look, here we go. Stalk. 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 And you've been you've been made. Ah, uh -huh, you got caught. Oh boom! Success. Going in for the throat grab. You know, so all this playing is very important. It's all practice uh, for when they get older and need to jump on things like buffaloes. Now, a lot of people always ask, oh, but what, would you ever have to teach a lion to hunt if it didn't grow up in the bush? And you would not. All you would have to do is let it get hungry for a few days. Uh, all those hunting techniques are instinctive. And uh, look at that. Just little bundles of fur. Ooh, a bit more serious a fight there. Oh, I think they're still on a thorn. Isn't this just too special? Boof! <laughs> When we spend lions time with lion cubs, it's wonderful because sometimes all you can do is just sit back, keep quiet, and enjoy. <laughs> now nah, you can't get me. Hello, you. Kathy in Tennessee is wondering when the little males will start getting their little mohawk manes. Oh, a long way off yet, Kathy. Uh, probably have to be well over a year before that mohawk starts forming nicely. Cat in Tampa says the cubs just look like little mischief makers even when they are sitting still and mischief makers indeed. I think the only time they're not really causing mischief is when they're suckling but then they are because they're causing mischief with each other arguing over teats. Tired now.
So as I said, the sun is setting, so we do apologize if the pictures are getting a little bit blurry, but we aren't going to put any lights on. Now hopefully the Nkumas have a successful hunt this evening. Bite him. Oof. Look at that, just too cute. What? <laughs> That's what happens when you mess with your older cousin. Got a few, a few kilos on you. Let's go pick on some on your own side. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna said it's about to be dark. Um, we're gonna leave shortly. We're just the last in the queue. We're all tucked in in a drainage line here, watching the lions. So we'll stay with them as long as we possibly can. It's been absolutely splendid having you with us on the Sunset Safari. Dangerous Dave and I have had a wonderful time. And uh, we're going to start making our way out of these lines now as it is dark. And we don't put lights on the cubs. So while we reverse out of the drainage line, uh, let's go back across to Steph for the last few minutes of drive.